It's like 9.20 or something. Hi, Larry. I woke up because I can hear Finley playing guitar downstairs. Very nice way to wake up. Let's go get coffee and get dressed. Good morning, Tiny. She doesn't want to get out of bed. Good morning, folks. I'm in my same outfit as I was yesterday morning. This is gonna happen a lot. Pretty much all I wear in the mornings before I like work out and get dressed later in the days is like sweatshirts and everything like that. So if you see me wearing the same shit, mind your business. <laughs> Anyways, it's like 9.45 now and I'm just gonna be editing this morning because I realized how fucking much work I have to get done today. I have a brand deal to film, edit, and send in. And you know, the logic in me is like, bitch, you should have done that yesterday. But I was shooting yesterday and Rue had her vet appointment and I was busy this past weekend and just there was things going on, you know? And I should have budgeted my time better, but I didn't. So I have to do it today. But first I have to get this Vlogmas Day 1 up and so I'm editing this and then I'm gonna ready myself, film, upload, send in, and um, Finley's currently writing a song with one of our friends, Brittany. I've actually played her music a fair amount in vlogs. She goes by the drunkest girl. That's her like, you know, stage name. And she released an EP when, I, maybe she was in college. I wanna say she was in high school, but maybe she was in college. And it's like an EP that's half with also our friend Becca. I'm saying our friend, but really it's Finley's older sisters friends who were like in her wedding party and like her long-term high school friends and whatnot. Anywho's, Finley's known them for a very, very long time and I always meet them when I'm back home with him in Virginia. And long story short, I just have to say, if you like folk punk or just like folk music in general, one, check out Finley's sister's band with all of her pals and her husband. It's Fooly Cooly, but F-L-K-L -L is what they're under on Spotify. And then I will link Brittany and Becca's EP that's like so fucking iconic and I listen to it so much down below. It's only on Bandcamp which is unfortunate because I always want to play it in the car on Spotify and um, I for some reason don't have it on my phone but I do have it on my computer and it's just so good so I'm really happy that Finley's writing with Britney because we just love her music so much. <laughs> We're our biggest fans but really so if you guys like that kind of music I'm gonna link some tunage down below. Look at my hair. This is what I wake up <laughs> looking like every day. It's just She's flimsy. All right, let's get back to editing. I just wanted to update you. I just had a little coffee, a tiny little toot. There was only a little bit left from yesterday and I did not want to spend the time making a brand new spanking pot because I'm lazy. Yeah. Okay, I'm really gonna get back to work now. After much ado, here is Megan Hughes eating a donut. Finley made me do this. He said, you're not gonna vlog yourself what? Blasphemy. Wow, big bite. You really eat giant bites. She eats entire salted chocolate caramels that are like the size of your fist. Is that Rue in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? I'm just bringing the fanny back, baby. Bringing that fanny back? <laughs> I can't believe we don't have blackberries out there anymore. I know, it's a really crazy sight to look out at that window and see. That's what Rue does, not you. <laughs> All right guys, I have Vlogmas Day 1 uploading right now. And while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to do these dishes and listen to some sweet funky tunes. All right folks, I'm taking a tip out of Claudia Zalewski's book and setting a cleaning alarm and, well, a cleaning timer. Uh, I'm gonna clean for 10 minutes straight because I just need to get some things in order, truly. And, um, did my camera move while I was down there? It seems like it did. Here I go, 10 minutes, doing the big clean. Break me down from up above On and on, I black out Out of love with my head on the toilet seat It's you, I'm thinking of, it's always you I'm thinking of Two empty bodies in a bed In the backseat of your car instead that dirty smile, your eyes roll back into your head Let's see how long this will last and how bad it can get Alright guys, I'm upstairs about to film my main channel video for this week So I can send it in, 
get the brand to approve it. Hi, Missy Paw Girl. What do you do with that little peanut paw on the ground? It's not, it's hovering. What are you even doing with it? Hi, Larry. All right, folks, I'm eating a little bagel because I know that I will forget to eat because I'm so busy today if I don't just eat this right now. While I'm editing, it's about 3 p.m. I'm going to power edit and send in this sponsored video. I did a 15 sustainable swaps video. And just a little fun fact for you guys. For my main channel, over the course of December, I'm doing all sustainability content just to help us limit our waste over the holiday season, baby. We all need a little help with that, even me. So yeah, that's what this is gonna be, 15 sustainable swaps that are easy and all of my top tier stuff. So I'm gonna edit this now and I'll talk to you guys after. My brain is a blur today, I'll be honest. But at least I look cute. Look at this nice little scarf, thrifted scarf braid. Peace out. All right guys, it is now 4.32 and I finished editing. So it took me about an hour and a half. Granted, I probably wasted about 10 minutes there messaging friends back on Instagram and stuff like that. But um, I did a quick power edit and now I'm gonna do a power export and a power upload. <laughs> And I know that this vlog probably has been like reasonably boring so far today because I haven't done anything like that crazy But it's just been a stressful work day for me truly and I need to get this stuff done because I'm planning on Doing a stream on twitch tonight villager hunting for Honestly any kind of acuity. I have an open plot because Jay is moving off of my island and I'm looking for either like Graham or June or honestly I'd probably take Kiki or like I don't know just a cutie. I love the little villagers the ones that are either like monkeys or hamsters or little koalas or something like that. I don't know. I kind of miss my koala. I, I recently said goodbye to Alice and I miss her. Anyways, Animal Crossing aside, I can talk about this on Twitch with people who care. <laughs> but I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on twitch.tv slash Megan Hughes. If you guys didn't know that, um, I stream for multiple hours sometimes and I think that it's just such a fun community and everybody is so sweet and we talk about just like really nice topics sometimes and I get to open up a little bit more than I would in like a published video because they're fleeting live streams you know sometimes I talk about stuff that I wouldn't normally talk about in recorded videos even though my videos do stay on my channel for I think two weeks on twitch so you can always go back and watch my live streams too on twitch if you want to um they're just available on my channel but yeah that's a little PSA if you didn't know that about me and while this is exporting I'm gonna go and make room to bring in our Christmas tree because I really wanna bring it in from outside. If you guys remember last year, we got a potted tree from a place in Portland and we moved it outside mid-month before we went home for the holidays last year. And it's just been in the same place since then. And it's grown a lot too. A couple inches probably <laughs> by a lot. I just mean a few inches, but we're gonna bring it inside hopefully today, but I just wanna clear space for it where we have a bunch of like bulk stuff sitting in boxes right now, just to inspire us to bring the tree inside on the dolly. All right. Also while I'm waiting, I'm going to wipe down the surfaces in our guest bathroom because we have two friends coming over tonight, Matt and Sam. They live in Northern California and they are coming up to visit us on like a really quickie road trip just for one night. And Finley actually visited them over the summer when he went down south to record music in California with his friend. And he met them for the first time after being like longtime Instagram friends with them. And he was like, I really just can't wait for you to meet Matt and Sam. Like he was so stoked on them. And then they wanted to return the favor and come up here and visit us just for, like I said, a quickie visit. And I wanted to say that I obviously need to do a disclaimer before, um, you know, having people over at my house. I know that everybody has certain COVID restrictions and regulations in their own home, but I feel comfortable in the people that I allow into my home because I know that they're being safe. That's really just what it is. The only guests I've had over the course of this year and the people that I've seen over the course of this year, I know that they're being as safe as we are. And also Matt and Sam, they also live the farm life and are pretty much only hanging out with each other in their small circle of themselves, maybe their close friends and family and their animals. 
and I know that they're not being crazy and partying every night and stuff like that. So I'm comfortable having them come stay a night in our house and in our guest room. And I just wanted to say that if you happen to see people in the background of the vlog today or if I vlog with them, I don't know. I don't know, it's my first time meeting them. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting the guest bathroom cleaned and ready for them because our sink is like really gross right now in here and our toilet. And obviously like I do a thorough cleaning of the guest room when anybody comes to visit just because um, it's the nice thing to do, baby. <laughs> I also wanted to say that I'm not just cleaning with air freshener. This is a homemade vinegar uh, all-purpose cleaner that I make and it's just in this bottle. But I do have one thing of old air freshener in here that I just keep in the guest bathroom in case anybody's self-conscious about their bathrooming, you know. We all poop. Well, oh, that vinegar went right into my cut. Yeah, feels great. Vlogmas day two, good to see you. <laughs> what are we doing? We are doing a little villager hunt for a cutie pie. By a cutie pie, I mean I don't have an agenda of who I'm looking for. I'm just looking for somebody cute. You're looking for the little lovely with the flower in her hair. Yeah, we would love June, we would love Graham. Yeah. <laughs> we would love Finley to keep burping. <laughs> we are chatting it up tonight on stream and hanging out for a little bit. I'll definitely be on for a little while. So Hallie is arriving from Woodview to drop off some tickets for me right now. So it's truly a thrill and I'm looking forward to it. So thank you, Hallie. Shout out to you, baby. Mm. Mm -hmm. I was about to say we, but I corrected myself to Mr. Finley. I have done literally nothing for this project. Sometimes when we build stuff on the vlogs, I'll be like, we built this, but it's like just you. Um, but Finn is building a PC right now for us to help me with my streaming, to help us with our gaming, and honestly, just for the pure thrill of doing it and having a better computer. It's just gonna be so great. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like for my SketchUp software, something like this will be really helpful for your video editing. If you decided to use it, this would be helpful. Yeah. Um, or if your computer starts to fail in the future or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I think that it'll have a lot of uses over time. And what I love about building a PC like this, one of the reasons I wanted to build it was to help develop my understanding of uh, how a computer worked so that um, when you have a PC like this, it's really modular. You can upgrade it piece by piece. Yeah. So if my GPU becomes obsolete, my graphics processing unit, I can go on the market and buy a new one and, and instead of having to buy an entirely new computer or whatever. And, exactly. you know, continue doing that piece by piece, which I think is really cool. I feel like it's almost like the more sustainable option in the long term for not having to like buy new electronics and just like either get rid of or throw away your old one, you know? I'd say, like, like most things, it really depends on, like, how you do it, you know? If you're, like, a PC head, like, you know, some people with their dirt bikes. If you're gonna do that with a PC and, like, swap shit out all the time, then, like, no, it's definitely not gonna end up more environmentally friendly. But yeah, obviously. I really just pulled that one out of my ass. No, I don't no, know no. that for sure. No, 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 it's, it, it is more environmentally friendly if you aren't excessive with it. You yeah. Know, like, it's just like phones would be a hell of a lot more environmentally friendly if you could swap the batteries when they went dead. Like, you know, like when they actually like, died. Yeah. yeah like their life like your phone with the battery life. Exactly. And, and how like, I had to upgrade my seven because it literally was just like dying all the time. And also I wanted a better camera. So I got a better one and gave Finley my old one. But I mean, it's frustrating as fuck. It's just like, why can't you just work? <laughs> but that, I mean, they do that because they don't want you to be able to like yeah, build your own phones and whatnot. But well, do you want to show them the inside of this? I can explain some stuff. Do you yes, I just need to change my battery. This is our computer doors. Um, let's see here. You have a CPU, which is under this thing. That's that little square right there. Uh, that's like the brain of the computer. Uh, this complicated looking thing is called the motherboard. Uh, that's sort of like the nervous system that's attaching all the pieces together. This is just the case that it's in. Um, 
So the CPU is the brain. The GPU isn't in here actually, it's this piece right here. I took it out so I'd have a little more space. Uh, that just is what makes, I don't know, graphics good or something. Uh, these are two 8 gigs of RAM, so 16 total. There's like four slots in there. Uh, that's what helps your applications run quickly and stuff like that. Under this little thing here, that's a heat sink cover. There's a SSD in there, about a terabyte drive um, for super fast storage. Uh, and I think that's, oh wait, no, sorry, that was over there. This is the cooler. So this is gonna have cool, fun little lights in it. This is a pre-built water cooler. So there's water in these tubes and a pump in there. So the pump pumps the water through here, runs it through this radiator, which is getting cooled by these fans, um, and then back through the other, and you know, cir circulates it like that because CPUs get really hot. And then just some stock fans in the case, and I'll put a power supply in it, and I think that's about it. We're getting pretty close to done here. Uh, if, you know, assuming I figure everything out. I guess they understand the culture of people buying the stuff to resell, you know, and keep the box in good condition, so. I think it's just because it's like a luxury item, basically, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the same way like Apple will have nice packaging. Um, this is actually too heavy for me. Yeah, I, I was gonna help. I'm gonna get my friend in the meantime. So long, fall stuff. I decided I'm not putting this lady back in because she was on my front porch and her feet are still wet. And so I'm just gonna like lean them off the side and let them dry outside the box. And we'll see her next year. Well, it's going well. I think it's gonna be a good looking PC, you know. I know, she's heavy. Well, I'm excited for you to meet Matt and Sam. They're both, I really think you're gonna get along. Me too. Okay guys, our friends are here. So I'm gonna go say hi to them and bring them in. And then we're gonna bring our tree in tonight and maybe decorate it with them. Very exciting stuff. Even Marley's excited. Hell yes. Look at her go. Wheeling it in. Fuck. That's so good. I love it. Indeed. Yesterday I was like, we're getting the tree. We're gonna bring in the tree. And we never did. All right, yeah. It's a big feat. I mean, shit. It's huge. Yeah, for real. Thank you for helping with that. I appreciate it. That's cool. I'm doing Vlogmas, by the way. If you guys yes. want to know what it is, it's like I vlog every day until Christmas girl. time. Do whatever you want to do. So I, yeah. th if you see this camera oh, right yeah. here, I'm yeah. like, no you're like, um, something's filming me. <laughs> no worries. Wow, I can't believe that's gotten so much bigger. I know. It was like, holy shit. Like I watched the video last night of when it was, and it was to my head. So it's definitely gotten at least like a foot. That's tight. It's also, it's pretty tall too. It doesn't look sparse at all. No. Wow. Do you have a side that we good want? Good job, buddy. You did so good last year. <laughs> wow. Should okay. we water it? Or, I mean, it's been raining a lot, I feel like. Yeah, I think it's probably fine. Yeah, it's pretty wet. Yeah, it definitely doesn't need water. All right. Well, this was a total success. I'm glad that we did this. I know. I definitely. Year. I like that we can like we could use the same tree probably like for the next five years. Right. Maybe, like you know, I don't know when it would start to be too small a pot for it, and if you get too much bigger a pot, you're oh, really gonna yeah. have a hard right. time. Right. Right. But a fork lift. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like, in, like moving a piano in or something. Seattle and they were staying in here for work and then helping Finley with building that tiny house oh, and nice. like getting the framing done and stuff like that yeah. and they helped us decorate our tree that year and they made these like little paper any of the paper ornaments oh, the yeah. woman and that couple made so I'm like oh cool. that was so really creative. nice of her thanks here's a big M for you thanks
All right, folks, I have to wrap it up really quick because I only have 50 seconds of memory on my card. But we had a totally wicked night. I'm honestly so proud of myself for just the amount of stuff I got done today. I uploaded Vlogmas Day 1. I filmed, edited, and sent in a brand deal. Right after that, I villager hunted for like almost two hours and I found Tia who's like in Animal Crossing. She's a villager who is an elephant. She looks like a teapot and it's so cute. So I got her and then our friends came over. We freaking set the tree up. It's just incredible. So if you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring the notifications bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload. You can become a patron of mine if you want to support my earnings for this month. Of course, my memory card got full right there at the end as I was wrapping up. But until my next vlog, stay smiling. Goodbye.